This is a comparison of the Logitech HD Pro webcams starting with the C910, the C920, and the C930E. The C910 is no longer in production. The C920 is in production and available from Logitech and Amazon, other retailers. And the C930E is also available. Uh, you'll find it under the business section on the Logitech website. Um, and its intended audience or, or customer is the uh, enterprise or business market. Uh, the C910 has um, been discontinued, but uh, I th you can probably still find it available um, on Amazon. Um, I've had this camera for quite a while. I've made a number of uh, drumming and other YouTube uh, videos for YouTube with it. Unfortunately, most of those videos were not in HD, even though it's an HD webcam. Um, I've had uh, technical issues with being able to capture uh, stereo audio from an external sound source uh, simultaneously with HD video at 30 frames a second. Um, I've only been shooting for 720 frame, uh, 720 lines, but uh, 1080 would be even better. Um, I was not able to really achieve that with that camera. Um, the C930E was better, but uh, also had some issues with dropping uh, audio and video frames and eventually um, becoming out of sync uh, within, you know, like a two or three minute song, you know, that would occur. So anyhow, um, have a new machine here, 2014 era uh, desktop with uh, an R7, Radeon R7 uh, graphics controller and uh, lots of memory, quad core. Uh, processor, 64-bit uh, Windows 8.1, and um, running this test to see if the, these these issues are resolved. Uh, now, uh, to get an idea of the size of these cameras, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. That's a 22-inch monitor they're sitting on. So they are sizable cameras. Uh, the C910 does drop down uh, in front of the screen a bit. Uh, the C920 and the C930E are very similar. I think they're identical housings, and they both sit on top. Uh, both of these cameras also have uh, screw holes for a tripod or other uh, camera equipment, while the C910 does not. Uh, they all have the Carl Zeiss glass lens. Uh, the C930E has a wider field of view, um, and uh, there's different software requirements. So the C930E really needs uh, the Windows uh, UVC drivers um, to operate. It does not, it's not supported by any Logitech drivers. Uh, the C920 and C910 will work with the Windows 8 UVC drivers, but uh, for optimum performance, uh, it's recommended that, that you do have the Logitech drivers installed for those cameras. Uh, for my use, I really do not want to record the microphone in these cameras, but they do have stereo microphones, all of them, and they're perfectly suited to recording your voice um, or any uh, media, you know, low to medium volume uh, audio in, in the room. But uh, for recording like musical instruments or anything, you know, loud, uh, you really need to use external mics, external sound source. So uh, for me, um, I'm recording from a, a mixer uh, like this one. And uh, this uh, get, plugs into the computer with USB, and um, you know the sound quality is a lot higher than you can get out of a webcam. So uh, you know ultimately that's my goal anyway, and um, I'm hoping to reach that with my new configuration, uh, recording drums and other instruments, and um, you'll be able to see my results here. Next, this is the Logitech C930E and uh, the microphone uh, using to pick up my voice is the uh, stereo microphone in the camera itself. Uh, the software being used, this is the Windows uh, 8.1 camera app. I've installed no Logitech drivers or software on the system. It's a fresh Windows 8.1 install. And uh, you plug in the camera, you start the camera app, and you start recording, and this is what you get. So no adjustments whatsoever. I didn't change anything. The, the resolution, the frame rate, uh, autofocus, right light, any of those features. Um, it does have a little bit of a focus uh, issue. I think, I think all these uh, Logitech uh, HD cams tend to have that. Um, I think the synchronization AV sync should be good. 
Uh, the lighting in this room is is not real bright. Um, I do have several lights on, but they're not, you know, collectively producing all that much light. Um, it is a wide angle lens, um, so you'll see that compared to the other cameras. And um, hopefully the uh, quality is really good, doesn't drop any audio or video frames over several minutes. This is the Logitech C920 using the internal microphones. Um, again, no Logitech software installed on the system at this point. This is a fresh Windows 8.1 install. Um, I didn't install the Logitech webcam software, any Logitech drivers. Uh, it just, you know, I think it's using the uh, Windows inbox uh, UVC drivers. And um, I, I expect the quality to improve with the Logitech drivers, but we'll see. Um, I didn't make any adjustments. It's still on autofocus and uh, does have some of the issues that you saw with, eh, maybe it's uh, reacting a little bit better. Anyhow, you can tell it's not as wide of a, an angle as the C930E. Uh, the lip sync on the screen then is delayed, uh, so uh, that is a little bit of a, an annoyance compared to the C930E, but there you have it, C920 with Logitech drivers. This is the Logitech C910. Uh, the microphone picking up my voice is, again, the internal microphone in the camera. Um, this is a stock, fresh Windows 8.1 install. Uh, no Logitech software or drivers installed on the system. Um, I'm somewhat surprised that it's recording in HD. Um, it is a, a 1080 uh, capture, but I noticed that the files created are only 15 frames a second. Uh, with this camera compared to uh, 25 with the others um, and again this is using you know whatever software microsoft supplies so it looks like you know the inbox uvc drivers um, i suspect this camera in the in the c920 will look better and you know capture better when uh, i install the logitech software but um, that remains to be seen um, also there's noise in this picture you'll see little white noise here and there a little vertical uh, horizontal lines appearing in the capture and I don't know why that is um, and uh, the field of view is extremely narrow that's what's unusual um, this is not the normal field of view for this camera but this is what happens when you just install Windows and you plug in the camera and you run the camera app and this is what you get this is a Logitech C910 uh, being recorded using the Windows 8.1 camera app after installing the Logitech webcam software um, the video I see and uh, the little air, you know, noise in the image looks exactly the same as before I installed the Logitech drivers. So um, I suspect that when you're using the camera app, it doesn't actually use the Logitech drivers for this camera, at least for the C910. So um, from what I can tell right now during recording, it looks identical to from before I installed the Logitech software. This is the Logitech C920 uh, being recorded with the Windows 8.1 camera app after having installed the Logitech webcam software and drivers. Um, I don't see any difference, but we'll look at the resulting files, uh, see if the file sizes change or anything. Um, but uh, using the Windows 8.1 camera app, um, the user experience seems to be exactly the same. We'll look at the files though. This is the Logitech C930E being recorded with the Windows 8.1 camera app after installing the Logitech webcam software and drivers. Uh, so in this configuration, uh, the Logitech's web drivers are not actually in use. Um, I wouldn't expect to see any difference in behavior, um, but just uh, to include a complete test, um, I decided to go ahead and capture this as well. This is the Logitech C910 uh, recording using the internal microphones and um, the Logitech webcam software. So I've installed the Logitech software now uh, with their drivers. Um, this is on top of Windows 8.1. And uh, the only change I made was to change the resolution from 720 to 1080. Um, I left all the other settings on their default settings. So right light is enabled, uh, right sounds enabled, and autofocus. Um, you can adjust all these things uh, using the, um, the Logitech webcam software, um, but I haven't yet tweaked anything. So just so you see, these are the stock settings, um, and uh, 
I'll now try the C920 and, and uh, see how that looks. But this, this is the C910. This is the Logitech C920 being recorded with the Logitech webcam software. Um, of course, I've installed the Logitech drivers as well, so this is now using the Logitech webcam drivers. Um, like the C910 test, uh, the only change made was the resolution from 720 to 1080. Uh, this has right sound, right light, and autofocus all enabled. This is the Logitech C930E being recorded with the Logitech webcam software on uh, Windows 8.1. Uh, it gives you a warning that you're using the UVC drivers and uh, re recommends that you install the Logitech webcam uh, software drivers, but uh, you can't. You can't install the Logitech. I mean, you already have Logitech drivers installed. They don't support this camera, so this combination is not really intended to be used. Um, anyhow, just as a test, I included it. So this is the 720p setting with the Logitech webcam software in the C930e. This is the C930e. Uh, recording with the Windows 8.1 camera app, uh, an external sound source, the mixer I pointed to earlier, this microphone, uh, stereo reverb. Um, this is the best combination, I believe. Um, the C910, I could never get to record more than 15 frames a second, uh, even dropping down to a 720p or the 720 optimized setting in the Logitech webcam software, I could never get to record more than 15 frames a second. Um, the C920, I, I just find that, that its audio and video is, is, a, is a big downgrade. Now, I wouldn't be using the microphones, but if you care about the audio from the mic, from the camera itself, um, I wouldn't consider the C920. And the video, I think, is, is a, a big downgrade as well. The C930 looks uh, great. Uh, previously, um, with the previous computer, I had issues with uh, it dropping a uh, just a millisecond of audio or video here and there. And um, when you're trying to... Uh, record a performance and you're synchronizing with uh, an already uh, recorded um, uh, music track and you have to be perfectly in sync, that doesn't work. You know, by the time you get to the end of the song, it looks like you're playing out of time and, you know, it has to be perfectly synchronized and uh, can't drop any frames of audio or video. So I'm hoping with the, uh, the new hardware, new drivers, uh, fresh OS install, all those problems are resolved. Uh, we'll see. I, I'm not doing a... Uh, a drumming or overdubbing test uh, here. Uh, this was just to give you the uh, initial webcam shootout, if you will, of these three cameras. And um, I'll let you choose for yourself which you prefer. Now, I did not test any other software, any other capture software. Obviously, you might get different results, especially if you use like a Macintosh or a Linux computer um, or even a different version of Windows. You might get completely different results. Or if you use uh, different uh, capture software, you could get uh, quite different results as well. So. Um, I hope uh, this was helpful to you and see you next time.